Hello, hello. Just tagging a few people. See if there's anybody on tonight. So I've been, hi Cheryl. I've been traveling, as we all know. And I got home and it's storming outside. So hopefully we won't lose any signal tonight. But yes, I am here. I'm tired, but I'm here. It's been a long day. The flight was easy, so that's good. No big issues with that. Um, so that was good. There was some crazy stuff on the flight, but it's all right. All's good now. Hey, honey, can you turn that fan on for me, please? It's blurry. It looks clear on my end. Is it blurry for everybody? Is that better? Is it better if I zoom in a little bit? Yeah, me too. And I haven't done much coloring at all because we, believe me, we've been doing nothing but making kits for the shows. So we have been super duper busy, but no coloring. So it has been very, very difficult for me because I usually color very often, almost every day. And I didn't really get to do much of that while I was gone. So I wanted to make sure that I definitely got to come on tonight and color with you guys. At least for a little bit. It probably won't be real long because I'm a little bit on the sleepy side. But we can have some fun until then. So all my markers are back in their home. I did clean up. I unpacked. I got all my stuff organized before the live. So I'm super happy about that. And tonight I thought what we would do is I haven't done my ATCs yet. And um, Jamie and I are going to do a bit of a collaboration. Hi, Kathy. So what I did was I chose these two stamp sets. Our ATC, um, our ATC this time was Critters. So what I did was I chose a few from the new Hooray stamp set. So I thought, I really love coloring this fish. So I chose the fish and the hermit crab. And then, oh my gosh, did you see Swamp? These are the ones that I drew. Ah, oh, I love them so much. So I also chose this little guy because he's small enough to fit on the, on the um, ATC card. So I already cut the ATCs and what... Jamie and I are going to do, we're going to do a collaboration, and what we're going to do is I'm going to color the critters, and then when she comes, she's going to do the backgrounds. So if you get one of our cards this time, which we're hoping to do enough for everybody to get one, but um, they're all going to be a little bit different, but they're all going to be part me and part Jamie. So I just have to do the little critters. So I thought, what better time than to do it on a live with you guys? So... um I don't know which one we, I really want to color this one, but I was, I thought I would give you guys three options and you guys can tell me which three, which one of the three you guys want. So while I'm stamping, thinking about, think about it and I'll give you guys a chance to choose and probably we'll do a different one tomorrow night, but we're just choosing which one first for tonight, but Oh, I love the little swamp baby, and I love coloring this hermit crab and this fish with the big eyes. He's so cute. So, I'm putting them in a little bit different spots on the ATCs. I am using Sweet Sentiment paper, because it's so amazing. But, you know, you get to know your markers really, really well, so when you use someone else's markers, it just feels different. So, it's a little bit more challenging I think to color when you're using somebody else's markers so I'm super happy to be home and have mine although that did not stamp well at all I don't know what's up with that I have not stamped them before yet so let me try that one more time and see how that goes I may flip it over I was like maybe I have the wrong paper but I don't so let me just make sure this little sucker here is clear. Okay. 
It feels pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is rub them in my hand a little bit because sometimes when they're new, it's better to, to do that. You get a better result. I'm gonna throw that card away for now. I cut um, nine of them, so I have another one. So we'll try that one one more time and see how that goes. Okay. So there's that little dude. I think I think that one didn't stamp all that well either. So I might stamp these again. Sometimes when it's the first time you stamp it, they just don't behave quite as well. Um. So it's better to stamp it uh, a few times to get it like really holding the ink and doing well. So probably should have, now I'm just dropping my ink pad all over the place. But probably should stamp them more than once and I'll probably be fine. They look like they're inking up really well. So see, they, they're inking up really well. It's just, I don't know why it's... It didn't stamp quite that well. Also looks like my Misty has something. I don't know. Something in the way or oh weird. It's like I'm not getting a good connection. And my other Misty has some stuff on it for the class, so I don't really want to Oh, there we go. Much better, much, much better. So that looks much better. That was a much better stamp. Okay, so it really was because it's new. Yay! That makes me super happy. So I'm going to clean them off, but I'm not going to take them off and put them away because you guys know I'm super picky about how they go back in the package, and I don't want you to have to watch me do that. Um, if you didn't know, this is our new chamois case. It's purple and teal, of course. Purple and teal. And the chamois that we have, when you close it up it fits right in here allows it to air so no stinky and definitely dries hi diane so any thoughts on which one of these cute little guys you guys want to color want me to color tonight maybe this little swamp baby the only person who said anything was cheryl and she said swamp baby swamp baby so these are the stamp sets that we're using. So we can either color the Swamp Baby, or the Big Eye Fish, or the Hermit Crab. Okay. Somebody thinking the same as me. Swamp Baby it is. All right. So we'll put those other two aside and I'll color them later. These have dyes to match as well. I haven't even cut mine apart yet. You see that? Well, when you're not home, you can't do it. Okay. So this is our little cutie. I'm going to zoom in. Like pretty good. So you guys can really see what I'm doing. Swamp baby. I love the little swamp baby. Okay. Thank you for turning on that fan, honey. Okay, so for the most part, I have not picked any colors yet. So we can do him green, or we can do him in one of those really cool, like a teal -y color, or a different green color. Or we could do him orange, or purple, or pink, or whatever we want. We could do him purple. I mean, he is a swamp man. We can do him whatever we want. He's our swamp man. So maybe we can try. Oh, okay, green. All right. I wasn't going to go for green, but we can go for green. Maybe we'll put just a little bit of a purple in him, too. Hi, Julie. So we're going to color this little swamp baby green, green, green. Everybody wants green. Okay. So let's pick a different green than Jamie used on the package. So let's go more with a swampy green. Let's go with, and I think we're going to have to swatch this out because I want to try 
a little bit of an interesting combo on the end. Yes, yes, we didn't get to we didn't get to do our ATC, so that's what I'm doing as well. When I cut the paper up, I had a few little extra swatches, so I saved it. So let's swatch this out because I really like these YG colors because they're like a deep dark green and then they kind of switch to an olive. But I want to see what it would look like if we threw in a really bright color at the end. So let's swatch them out and make sure we're good to go. So that's the 99.97. So those are pretty close. So they'll be good. And then watch how 95 kind of changes. It sort of gets a lot more olivey. Olivey? Is that a word? Olivey? And then this one is much lighter, even more olive. And then my hope is that this one, yeah, that one blends really well. Okay, so that's YG21, and that one's much, much brighter. So, swamp swatches. So maybe you can see that a little better. If I put my finger by it, might bring it in focus a little bit more. I think that really bright will give us some really good highlight. And then on top of that, I think I'm gonna throw in a little bit on his um, his little ear, his little swimmy ears. I don't know what you call that. I'm not sure I want to use BB29. It might be too dark. Yeah, no, I'm gonna need it. 25 and 23 to put just a little bit of purple in there too. Ooh, oh, wow, I still have my watch on airplane mode. <laughs> Does that tell you how out of it I am? I just looked down and my watch it still has a little airplane on it. <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to do green with some purple on him. And maybe purple eyes. I don't know. We'll see. Let's start with the green and we'll see where we go. So if you see me skipping areas, it's because I might want to put a little bit of purple in there. I also think I might want to add a little bit of a cheeky color to his cheeks. So let me see what I think about this one. Mm, too bright. Let's try... I want something more subtle, less obnoxious. Does that make sense? Like, maybe that. So if that's underneath there, it'll just kind of make that, that green get a little bit darker. So let's use that for cheeky cheeks. You see how I did that? I went right over top of the YG21 to see what that cheeky would look like. And it'll give it just enough cheeky look to be some little happy cheeks. So I like that. So I'm, real, I'm happy with that. So we're going to roll with that. So I have YG99. Oops. That helps if it's right side up. YG97. 95. 93. And then we're going to throw in YG21. Hi, Brenda. So we're going to color this little swamp baby. Here we go. YG99 is first. So we had to fly into... Um, Dallas with storms, so that was not fun, but I was so glad they didn't reroute us somewhere else. So that was very, made me very, very happy. So right now, we're putting in, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. It'll make it a little harder to see the, um, the whole marker blend, but you'll be able to see which ones I'm using by having them right here. So I'm doing just the darkest shaded, shaded areas because um, we have a five color blend and this guy's pretty little. So just gonna put in these areas I think would have the darkest, the darkest shadow on them. 
so it won't have a whole lot. And I'm not going to do his head. I'm going to do his body first. You guys know how I like to do them in sections because it's more it's more helpful to me, I think, when you do them in sections. So I'm going to just stop right at his neck and we'll do his head after this. So how have you guys been? Anything exciting been going on with you guys? I know we've been working morning to night. Did you guys see our live this morning? We told you how many we how many we completed. It's kind of amazing. We counted them all out. We were so happy. We got so many done. I'm gonna put just a little bit of shadow right here because he's gonna have a little baby belly sticking out. So just a little bit for him as well, for this color as well. The next one will be the third one, the true color. So there'll be a lot more of that one. Oh, you saw the live? That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Literally, I mean, let me just show you. Hey, will you pull that magnetic sheet down? I'm going to show you. Oh, it, we have bad weather here, so that might be the problem. It doesn't look like you're losing it on my end, but that might be it. It's thundering outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Yes, so I have a Gemini, and it has a magnetic plate under it that you stick the dies to. I want to show you what happened to mine. Look at that. From how many times I cut these things I have totally demolished my magnetic cutting plate busted see that disappointing and Jamie's is very close to that as well so <laughs> so you know note to uh, always have one an extra one on hand which I do not right now but I will in the future Okay, so I'm going to go across his neck because this is the true color and I want to start getting this color really in there really, really good. I did wear it out. I mean, wore it out. I think I wore out Jamie's too. I felt bad because she just got it. <laughs> I had brand new plates and I started, which is probably why hers are still holding up and mine are not. Because <laughs> mine were not brand new. But I'm telling you, that bigger uh, mat for it is so helpful because we can do um, my dies and her dies at the same time. So it was really, really helpful to have that. Okay, so next one is YG93. And this is lighter, even lighter than the last one. I'm going to fill in most of it, leaving just a little bit of shadow area. I mean, of um, highlight area. And then we'll go over that with this really bright um, YG21 after we finish this one. He's so adorable. I just love him. But of course I do, because I drew him. So now I can't say the artist lines, right? You found another bag of paper? Oh, Julie, do you know that we used almost every bit of that paper, cut it all up and everything? It was so helpful to have. Thank you so much for doing that. It's great. It was very, very helpful. YG21, this is really going to brighten it up. Now, it looks a lot brighter on the screen for me right now than um than what it looks like in real life so i'll hold it up in just a minute and show you what i'm looking at so i'm kind of putting some highlight on his little arms and now i'm going to go down and kind of put in some highlight in his belly but to bring all the colors together i'm kind of going over some of the stuff i already did soften those lines and get that color in there i'm going to keep that olive tone but it's also going to lighten it up a little bit for his YG21 color. <laughs> it looks a little swampy doesn't it? 
Oh, I'm sure we will. We did not get through all of the shows. We only got probably two and a half shows done. And we have like eight, seven or eight left this year. So I'm going back to YG93 so I can smooth this out a little bit, even though he is a little swampy dude, so he might need to be a little not smoothed out, but we're going to go in there and smooth out some of that rough coloring there. I just went out the line, outside the lines. Did you see that? I'm going to go back to YG21 now and just lightly touch over those to blend those colors pretty good. Better, better, better. Okay, let me hold it up so you can see more of the true grit color going on on this little guy. You see that? I think he needs a little bit more right here because I didn't really touch this with the YG21. And then we're going to use the colorless blender and put that ink right back in there. Because I got outside the lines, although Jamie will be doing a background for us, so it won't be that much. So touch close to it, but not on it like that. Did you see how I did that close to close to him, but don't don't touch the actual spot and it will just start pushing it right back in. You see it's almost like magic, huh? So now you see just a little bit of it still kind of showing out there when I move it around and we'll hit that one more time when it has a chance to dry. But that was almost like magic, right? If you see it come back out, wait till it dries and then do it again and it'll be fine. But if you hit it while it's wet, it'll pull even more out and then you'll be wishing you hadn't done that. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to put a little bit of purple in his ears over here, but I am going to do the these outside parts in the darkest color. But I want to kind of connect them. I mean, you don't have to, but... This is the way I want to do it. So I'm really just playing along those lines and extending out just a little bit. It's kind of showing like an underside. I like it that way. So, so you guys want to hear what happened to me when I went to the airport? Well, last night I tried to check in online and I booked through Travelocity and Travelocity said I was on Alaska Airlines and I was like oh okay so I went to Alaska Airlines I put in my record locator and it said cannot find cannot find that it said it was going to be operated by Americans so try American Airlines and I was like really because I booked it under hey he almost looks like a who from a whoville now um I was like, really? Because that's just weird. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you be American? That I just didn't make any sense to me. So anyway, I went to American and I tried to find the flight in American, and it said it does not exist. So I was like, um, so do I have a flight or not? <laughs> I know they charged me for it. So I contacted him online and did that whole, you know, speak to a computer online or something. And they said, yeah, everything's fine. You just have to check in at the counter when you get there. I was like, mm, okay. So I'm on my way to the airport and I get a message on my phone that says, your flight has been delayed. And it gives me, um, it's from American, and it gives me a different flight number than the flight number I had on my receipt. So I was like, so am I really on American, or am I on Alaska? I mean, what, what? So Jamie says, I'll wait here for you. And you get, once you have a ticket, let me know, because... If you don't have one, then I may have to take you back home with me. And I was like, okay. So I went inside, and I just stood there for a second. Because I was like, do I go to American, or do I go to Alaska? American, Alaska, I don't know. So I went to the Alaska booth, and I said, I'm very confused. 
And she said, okay. And I said, I bought a ticket on Alaska, but they're telling me that it's American, but American can't find the flight. So can you help me? And she was like, oh, yeah. Um, actually, we partner with American, and some of our flights get run by American. So you're probably on an American flight. So you'll have to go to the American counter. So now I have to leave the line that I waited for in the Alaska counter, go over to the American counter, and I get over there. And I walk up and I say, she says, hi, how can I help you? And I said, well, I'm a little bit confused. And she said, aren't we all? What can I do for you? <laughs> now, so I explained it to her. And she was like, oh, yeah, I found your reservation. You are on an American flight. So I never was on an Alaska flight. And she gives me seat 30E. And I looked at her and I said, am I in like the last seat on the plane? Because, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't like to sit by the bathroom because it seems like everyone has to go to the bathroom like a bajillion times while you're in flight. So I, I don't like to be by the bathroom. And um, she says, oh, no, there's 34 rows. Like that's like that was so much better, right? <laughs> So I just looked at her and she goes, let me see what I can do. So she comes back and she gives me, um, she gives me 21D. So she's like, it's an aisle seat. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. That's fine. So I wait and wait. I was three hours early for my flight, but I did get on. So I was super happy that that all worked out for me, but they are crazy. I mean, they are crazy. I just, it's, yeah. It kind of blows my mind. I'm going around his eyes, so I want them to kind of look a little bit sunken, you know, like they're kind of hidden on his face, and this is my true color, so. But it, it, I mean, everything was fine. The flight was, you know, not too bad until we got to Dallas, and then it was extremely bumpy, trying to get through all the clouds and stuff from the storms coming in. But other than that, it was not too bad, except for the crazy guy who kept throwing a fit on the airplane. He didn't understand why he couldn't use the first class restroom. He wanted to use first class restroom because too many people have been using the one in the back. I was like, what are you saying? Who cares? It's because first class shit not stay. Right. Just go to the back. Just, just go. So he rose a big enough stink that they let him just use the first class bathroom. <laughs> Not to mention that before we even took off, he decided he left something in the airport and wanted them to open the door and, and let him go get what he left at the airport and get back on the plane. And they were like, we can't let you off the plane if you put stuff on the plane. <laughs> I mean, you just, you can't do that. And he was like... I just want to go out there and get my stuff. I bought this stuff at the airport, and now it's going to be left behind. And they had to get the pilot to come out of the room and say, if you make me open that door and let you off, you will not get back on. So what's it going to be? So he decided to leave his stuff at the airport. Whatever it was, he forgot. Hi, Pam. And I was like, oh my gosh. So twice he was acting crazy. Well, then when the plane lands, you know, they're like, oh, since we were delayed, you know, what? let everyone who has connecting flights get off and everything. And before they can even say you can get up, he starts bolting for the door. Finally, he's like, I just need to get off. I just need to get off the plane. And throws throwing this big old stink. And finally, the pilot came out and said, just let him off. <laughs> so they opened the door and let him out and I was like oh I hope I never see that guy again crazy guy at the airport but that was three times during my flight when I was wor a little bit worried that we were going to be delayed due to crazy person on the airplane there's always one isn't there now look at his face so cute and happy I left some openings because there is one on every flight. So, so true. I left some little spaces over here because I kind of want to put a little bit of that purple in there. And I may not use that darkest um, color that I originally thought I would because I colored so much of it green. 
But instead of doing pink ears like most people have, most uh, like humans or dogs or animals or whatever, um, I don't want to. I don't want to give them pink ears. See, this worked out really good. They have meds for that. I know, right? <laughs> so that worked out really good. I picked a good pink color. So this was RV00. So just enough to give him a little bit of pinks on it, pink on his cheeks. So I really like that. I'm super happy with that. So then I also have... I'm going to leave BV29. We're just going to use BV25 and 23. We're only going to use two right now, but we're going to hold BV29 because we're also going to do his eyes. And I want to use that. Um, I want to use that when I do his eyes. Hi, Karen. So what we're going to do is where I had gotten this green out, we're just going to hit that one more time just to make sure that goes back in where it's supposed to. And then there's a little bit on his eye. You probably can't see it, but I can see it. See how I got just a teeny bit inside his eye right there? I need to get rid of that before we color his eyes. Oh, look at his cute little cheeks. They came out so good. Okay, so let me see if I can do this up close so you guys can really see this. Because it is kind of like magic. So you don't touch. You just touch right in front of and just wet the paper and it pushes that color back in just like that see that just like magic it's pretty awesome if you don't have one of these you should definitely get one I'm gonna do it one more time there we go sometimes I blow on it or shake it a little bit to let it get dry there's still a little spot you can kind of see it just a teeny bit we'll wait color his ears and then um, we'll hit that again because if you do it too soon like I said it'll pull even more green in there we don't want that to happen so we're not going to do that okay so this is my BB 25 and that's going to be my darker of the two colors so I'm going to put it right here and go up just a little bit in the little webbed areas and I'm going to go here and a little bit in these webbed areas. Kind of overlapping a little bit of the green, but just giving it enough. And then I'm going to go in with the BB23, which is a much uh, brighter shade of this purple. And we're just going to brush stroke out into those webbed ears just to fill in that white spot and give it a little bit of purple so it won't be too much we may even go over it real quick with the YG21 to make sure they blend really well together because right now it's purple but it's a little bit bright for me it's super cute but I think it stands out just a tad bit too much and I might want to tone it down just a little so I'm going to pull the YG21 that we originally used before and I'm just going to go, I mean just right over it where I put the purples just to blend the purple and green together and see how that makes it just a little less bright and a little more subtle. So we still have a little bit of purple in there. If I hold it up you'll be able to see it a little better. But see how we have some purple in his ears but not enough for it to really stand out which is what I wanted and now we're going to do the eye again just to make sure so remember just in front of not into where you had it there we go now it's good so sometimes you have to do it two or three times to push that color back in but if you're patient which is very hard for us colorists to be but if you're patient enough, you can push the color back in. The ones that I would worry about that are hardest to do that with are red, especially a deep dark red. They just don't move that well. But the other ones, pretty good. So you wanna be extra, extra careful when you're using red or black. 
but purple and green and all of those, you can usually move it if you just get a little spot out there. And if all else fails, cover it with your white gel pen after it dries. <laughs> You guys didn't know it was it was um, cheat tricks tonight. Coloring cheat tricks. Okay. So before I start, I have a hair. Um, first it was on my face, and then it was on my finger, and now it's on my marker. Okay. So first I'm going to start with BV23, and I'm going to make the line the eye exactly what, how big I want it to be and where I want it to be. This gives me, a, it's a little easier to work with the light color, doing this with the light color first. So that's super cute and some people could leave it like that, but you know how we are. We like a little more detail in those eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the BB-29 and I'm going to extremely carefully and with my marker upright, completely upright, so I get the thinnest of little lines and I'm going to do it in strokes like that so it's a very thin line and I'm going to go just around the outside of this eye just to give us To finish that off so it looks like I used black but I really didn't and then I'm going to use that same amount of brush stroke I didn't get thick enough right there that same amount of, amount of just barely touching to put some of these little bitty lines in his eyes just because I think he needs a little bit more detail in his little eyes There we go. So he's got a little bit of detail in there. Now, the swamp. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you like these little swampy guys. They're so much fun. So, so much fun. Now, with the B25, I'm going to go from that line I put there in towards it. Just to give it a little bit more detail in those eyes. And then I'm also going to do it just a little bit around the center part. Because I kind of want the middle part to look really dark around the pupil. And you know, if you've done this coloring with me before, that we're going to hit it one more time with the BB23. And then we're going to use the G00 to really bring those eyes out. It's the magic touch. So here we go. We're just going to put a little bit more of this purple to deepen that eye. It will deepen it. And then the G00 will lighten it again, but in an awesome way. So we're going to take it and we're just going to go like in a U shape. Until we start seeing it, the magic happen and then we stop. And we can go back and do more if we need to. But if you keep going, you're going to get too much. So look at that. Isn't that super duper cute? There are so many ideas I have with this little guy. So you might see me coloring him up like multiple times. So look at him. Isn't he super cute? He's super duper cute. And I wrote down here, and Jamie's going to have to cover, cover that because I forgot I was doing the, I forgot I was doing the ATC. <laughs> That'll be her challenge. Figure out how to cover that. <laughs> it's kind of like a tattoo artist, you know? When you come in and say, oh, my tattoo is terrible. Can you please, um, <laughs> can you please do something? <laughs> you can uh, do that. So he is super cute, isn't he cute? I just love it. But that was really short and not enough coloring for me. And you know, I, I always do that. So um, I say, let's color one more, one more, one more. Let's do this guy, this little crabby guy. He's super cute. 
and we can do him any colors we want. He's so cute. You want to tattoo? You want to tattoo him on you? He's so cute, isn't he cute? I just love him. He was he was the um, he was the second one that I drew. The first one I drew was this guy, and then he was the second one, and then Jamie said, "Well, just make it a whole family." So I made the girl with the bow to go with it. So we got little swamp peoples. All right. So on this one, I colored the package. So I colored him like this. So we are not going to color him like this tonight. We're going to do something else. So we're going to color the, him first. Yes, I was going to say, and then we're going to make the shell, like, different colors. Because I think that'll be super fun. And then we get to play with lots of markers. <laughs> so first, let's see, let's make him, like, let's do a blue-green, like, like his body in a blue-green kind of color. Sort of like a a blue-green, a blue green with a tan color to him. So that's a little hard to explain, but I'll show you what I mean as we get through it. But we'll have to swatch again because I have to swatch because I'm going to try some new color combos to do this because you know that's how I roll. I think I'm going to try... Maybe these ones. Hi, Sherry. Okay, so we're going to try to mix these six colors. Okay, we're going to do six colors tonight. And let's see how well they look. So we're going to do them like this. So this is BG49. This is BG53. So they work pretty well together. And then this is BG11. Oh yes. Look how pretty that is. So they all swatch together pretty well. So I'm super happy with that. In addition to that, I did it long ways instead of like this so I can put these colors up against it to see if they blend well. So this is E35 and I want to see if I can blend that with this one. Yes, I can. This is 33. Again, still working out well. And this is 31. With 31, yeah. I think they work well together. I want to make his skin in these colors. So we're going to kind of mix this up a bit. And then we'll make his shell really bright, like. I don't know, maybe even put a design on it, but we'll play around with him. So let's put our little swamp baby that we colored aside, and if you missed it, I'll put the replay on YouTube, and you can see the replay in the group. So options, options, options. So this is BG49 we're going to start with, and I'm going to put them in here in every other order. So E35, that's the one that matches up with the 49 that we're using right now. Then we have 53 and 33. And then we have BG11 and 31. I know this seems pretty crazy, but you'll see where I'm getting as I go. So the first thing I want to do is take my multi-liner because there's a little bit of his eyeball's not colored in the way that I want it to be. Oh, this is a way too big multi-liner. I need a smaller multi-liner. And what I want to do is see how his eye didn't stamp solid? I want to color his eye so I don't get a different color in there. Nope, I think I'll go with the O3. Okay, so this is the point three, point three, not point O3. And all I'm going to do is, if you don't stamp all the way, you can just use your multi-liner to fill it in. And I just want to fill in his eyes so they're deep dark before I start coloring. 
See, I think that's a lot better. Okay, so back to BG49. That's where we are right now. And we're going to put all the deep, dark shadow areas in this BG49. Super duper cool. So in between and up against the shell. Just right up against this little shell right here, and his eye is going to come down like that, so we don't want to put too much in there. And then in between these little leg areas where they meet up. And then this underside right here where they meet up and right here and then I'm going to go like a little bit from the edges of these little crabby legs if you will crabby legs crabby crabby legs I'm also going to do the top of his little leg right there where it's bending over and then that's all I'm going to do well I lied I'm going to do a little bit over here too. <laughs> okay, so now we have this really deep uh, blue in there. Hopefully it's deep enough and I don't have to get a different one out. And I'm just going to lay that marker down behind the rest of them and start working down this sequence that I have right here. Sorry, that was me. That was me. Um, hi, Kathy. Um, the sale went pretty good. It went really good the first day, but then it kind of drizzled off a little bit, which is not a bad thing. I just feel like people get busy on the weekends and sometimes not, not as much, but it went pretty good. I think people, I hope people didn't miss out because there were some real, we had some really good sales. That's probably the biggest sale that we've had ever price wise. So, I'm well, sorry if you missed out. So, right now I'm coming in with this E35. And I'm extending out and going over just a little bit where I put the, the B. G color. So, I want to mix these two, kind of want to mix these two shades together kind of give us a different like ombre sense to him. So just some of it I'll go over the blue and some of it I'll just be putting brown in like here. So we just want to show some blue, some brown. And then some mixture. So you'll be able to see both the blue and the brown. That's kind of the deal. Yeah, we have some... Uh, we wanted to give you guys a chance to grab anything that you want because we'll just take the items to the shows now. I don't think they'll get... I mean, they're not going to be on sale like they were for you guys, but you guys get the special stuff because... You know, you're our sweeties. Okay. So this is BG 53, and it's going to put a little bit more of that blue-green color in there. It's going to be kind of brighter, but we're kind of going over that brown. But we'll bring the brown back in with the next color. You see how he's kind of looking a little bit, a little bit ombre-ish? Each time I put the blue in, it kind of makes it look like, ew, I don't think that's going to work. But when I put the brown back in, it looks really good. And 
Now I'm going to start doing these little, little bitty arms here. So he's kind of cool. I wanted to give him a different look than what we normally have. Now we're going to hit that E33. So this is more like kind of the true color. So I'm going to hit it a little bit more with this brownish color. In case you were wondering, I have never tried this before. This is all new. I hope that it works out the way that it does in my head. But we've had such good luck with this test it all out on a live that I figured I'd just roll with the flow and hope it pans out for me. So far, I'm pretty happy. I'm not unhappy with the results so far. I'm kind of getting that color that I was looking for. A little bit of blue, a little bit of brown. I'm going to use this one a little bit more um, liberally. Jamie's words, liberally. I may go back in with the 53, but I'm not sure. We just have to see how this works out. So kind of covering it all because what we're going to do is go back in with the 31 to soften that blue. But so far, I'm kind of liking it. We're also going to put a few spots on him. So we'll be going back through some of those colors again. Kind of make it a little bit darker because right now he's coming out really bright. Exactly. That's what I was going for. Mm-hmm. I knew I'd seen blue crabs before. Okay, so this one is the E31. It's the last one I had in the six color combo. And I'm going to go over where I have the most browns, but leave some of that blue alone that I just put in there so that you can still see that blue. And like, isn't he pretty? He's very pretty. He definitely would have everybody looking at him in the ocean. Look how pretty he is. I like him. Okay, we do have a few areas that are not blended real well, so I am going to go back with the E53 and put a little bit more of this blue in there to bring it together a little more because we kind of lost a little washout up here. So I'm just going to do that so that I can blend these just a little bit more. Get a little bit more of a smooth, a little bit darker kind of color to these. To this. Put a little more blue in there. And then we'll go back in one more time with like the... We'll try the E31 first. And if we need a little bit more than that, then we'll do the 33. But just getting a little bit more of that blue in there, giving it a little more of that not smooth look to it. I mean, I don't want to make him super smooth. I want him to look very rough. So I do think we need just a tad bit more brown over our blue. So I'm going to use E31 because it's very, very light. And I'm going to do this sort of quick. So I don't want to put a lot of color in there. Just like that. And down here, and this is going to go so good with a really pretty bright shell, I think. So this is our little guy. I'll bring him up close. So far, this is what he looks like. It's pretty cool looking. It's not smooth. It's very splotchy. I want it to be very splotchy. That's kind of the idea. I do want to put some spots on him, and I think I'm going to do them in blue. So I'm going to go back to the BG49, and what I'm going to do is just barely touch and put some little spots on him. Just kind of at the tops and at the bottom of his little claws, kind of where that brown is, but still leaving enough of that brown showing through. 
And this is all in my head, so you can just kind of put them wherever you want. I'll put a little bit here. These are just tiny, tiny, tiny little, little dots. I am going to kind of accent his eyes a little bit here and then put some dots up here. Up here again. Coming down a little bit just like I did the other side. Get us some dots going on this side. Not a whole lot and not filling them in a whole bunch. But getting enough on there that it really it's just looks. Yes, I saw them already. Haha. <laughs> I got home and there were a bunch of ATCs here. Yours wasn't here, but I got home and there were a bunch here, so it was really exciting. Look at how cute that looks. I think he needs a little bit more down here in this dark area to kind of match the other side. But other than that, I kind of like him. Awesome, 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 awesome. He's so cute, okay. So now we use blue and brown. So now we have to make his shell like really bright. So what I want to do is I'm going to use first the C. No, I'm going to use the W. Let's use the W's because I need warm colors with this. So I'm going to use the W1 and I'm going to kind of draw out a few little patterns on his shell for us to color. And then I'm going to go in with some different colors like yellow and red and orange and maybe a bright green. I don't know. Something like that. So um, W1, this is where I'm going to kind of draw in some of his, uh, his designs. So I'm going to kind of put like this little little hard to see for you guys but I can see it um, and then maybe I'm gonna do some checkered here and I might do like down the middle like that kind of give them another another option and then let's see maybe we need to do this design again, but we're going to do it kind of strange looking. These are not going to all match up in any kind of way, but then we're going to kind of draw this one along here, and we're going to put these lines back in like we did with the other one. So it's like every other area we're going to put a little design in there just for the fun of it give him some little hi Jen just give him we're just going to give him a little bit of design so basically I just drew in some little shapes in there so I have a guide when I'm coloring it I don't know that I'll follow them exactly but we'll we'll see so I think we need some orange orange really good orange so I'm gonna try these three and I'm gonna swatch them out to make sure they they work really well um, I think we need yellow a pretty bright yellow so you know we're gonna pull my favorite three yellows you know it has Y11 in it because I just love that I'm gonna use some reds and then I don't know, some interesting reds and then I think I'm going to put some blue in there. So let's try these blues and see how it goes. Now this 24 really bugs the crap out of me but I'm going to try it anyway. So I decided to go with blue instead of green but I might throw green in if we need another color. So let's swatch it out and see how it goes. Okay. So this is our little guy. I'm going to turn this around so I can see the colors with him to make sure I like them. So for orange, I chose 
Y R 18, 16, and Y R 02, because I need a dark, a medium, and a light. And I think I like that pretty good. And then I think for our yellow, I'm going to do Y15, 13, and Y11. So far, I think I like those colors with him. So I'm pretty happy with those. Okay, and then for reds, I chose my favorite, favorite red, which is R46. Because it feels very true red-ish. But then I went a little off on the red-orange and light rouge because I think these will give it a little bit more of a reddish-orange tint, which will blend better with this. So this is R17 and then R14. Yeah, I like that too. So I'm happy with that. Let's try our bees, and I might want to change this. No, I think I'm going to like it. B37, B26, and B24. I think those colors are going to be good. I do think we are going to have to throw in a little bit of a bright green, so I'm going to choose um, 9, 7, and 3. And let's see how that goes. G, 9, 7, and 3. G, 9. G, 7. Oh, I like G, 7. I don't like G, 9. Okay, we're passing on G, 9. G7 and G3. Nope, don't like G3 either. Let's see, G7. Maybe, yeah. Let's use G7 and then YG05 and then YG03. And I think that will give me the good green that I want. See, we did good. The green was the only one I wanted to change. This is almost going to be rainbow-ish, but not really because we're going to be doing a pattern, like a checkered pattern. So I think we're going to do red and orange together in this checkered right here. So we're going to need YR18 first, YR16, and then YR02. Okay, so YR16 first. I know this is very interesting, <laughs> but you know how I am. I like to roll with different, different stuff. So I'm going to start off. By doing this checker box. And then I'm going to roll with this checker box. And I'm not filling them all the way in. I want them to be a little, you know, different. And then this box. And then we'll skip that one and we'll do this one. And then we'll do this one. And then we'll do this one. I kind of want to do them along the skin because there will be some shadow there. Plus it will help us identify exactly which ones of the squares we're coloring because it looks a little confusing right now. And then maybe a little bit at the top. Skip that one. Do this one. This one. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in before I bring all the other oranges in with the yellow. No, I think I said red. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to go in with the red, which is the R46. 
and I'm going to do these other areas over here where the other boxes are going to be red. So it's pretty close, but you'll be able to see the difference between the two. And I'm just kind of randomly picking, you know, exactly how much or where I want to color in it. It's kind of a just whatever you want kind of thing. Everybody's opinion, whatever you want to do, you do. So he looks a little funny right now, but I hope he'll get there. I've never done this before, but YR16 is next. And this is where we're only going to go into the orange area. And this is where they'll start standing out and looking different because the, um, the orange will look more orange and the red will look more red. So it'll really start coming together being a checkered color. Okay. Now we're going to do R17. So filling these in, these little checker boxes that we decided to do. And because these colors are so close, they're going to blend, they're going to flow really well together, I think. YR02 is the last one for the, the orange sequence, so we're just going to go over there. Jamie thinks it's funny the way I say sequence. So, see how smooth those, those orange squares look? They're really filling in well. I like this color. This is going to for sure be a little reggae guy. Okay, and then R14 is going to lighten it up and give it a little bit of that orange tinge to it. So it's going to blend really well. I like it. Wait till I show it to you up close. You're going to like it too. So it's kind of blending it, but not perfectly because we don't need perfect. I am going to go in a little bit more over here. So I do want to bring this together a little bit more to look a little more square. I think that's the only spot I saw that I was not too thrilled with. And then we'll move on. And I think as we fill in the shell, it's going to look even better and better. So let's keep going. Those are our, our orange and red. And then I, we're going to have to do, let's go ahead and do this one in the back. That's the same pattern, but much, much smaller. And we're going to do that with the blue and the green. And then we'll bring the rest of the colors together in these two sections. So B37 is the one I'm going to start with for this one. I'm just going to bring in these little squares this way. And then over here, it gets a little confusing when you're trying to do every other one until you get the colors in there. But if you mess up one, it doesn't, people aren't really going to notice, I, I don't think, as much. I mean, they're going to think you did it on purpose, so 
I think you're okay. So that's our B37. And then we're going to use G07 to do our opposite ones. And we are going to do this part right here and all the way over to here. I kind of want that whole piece filled in. And then again, we're going to do this big piece right here. And then this piece over here. So we're going to have two green ones, and then we'll see. Maybe we'll have two green ones. Yep. Two green little stubbies and two blue. Nope. This one's going to be green, too. This is going to be green. There we go. Now we're going to go to B26. We're going to fill this in. We're just going to do most of it with this color, and then we're going to go and just go over it with the lighter color to lighten it up. This looks a little bit different checkered, but it's harder to see, so... Let's go ahead and make this one blue, too. I think it works better that way. All right, YG05 is where we're going to fill in the green areas. And when we hit it with that other color, it might be really light. Or we might just be able to stick with these, too. There we go. Bring these in. All right, so that's some really bright green and blue. So let's, I know it looks like a color and everything, but we're gonna go over it with the 24 because I think it'll lighten up the highlight areas a little bit. We're just kind of going over what we already colored to kind of lighten it up and bring it to life the way that we want. And then the last one is YG03. And I think for the next patterns, since we only have one other color we haven't used, which is yellow. We're going to use yellow in here. So we're going to come in with the Y15, and I think I'm going to do it closest to the this section down here. I think it'll blend well with the red and orange because it's yellow. I'll smooth that out a little bit. I think we needed a little bit better design right there. So I'm going to fix it while we're doing it. Hey mama! We're doing a little reggae looking little crabby here. Okay, so the next color is Y13. We're filling in a little more, blending a little bit more. And I think we're going to bring the green down here from the top one to finish it off. So I think it needs the green. And then Y11 is going to be the last color that we're going to fill in. This is going to make brighten it up just a little bit because this Y11 has that really bright color to it.
Looks like somebody just painted his shell whatever color they wanted. When this dries a little bit more, I'm going to go in with the YRO2 along the edge and smooth out those ones that started spreading a little bit. So we're going to come in from the top for this section right here with the green. So we have to be real careful because the green and the yellow, you know, they'll just make the whole thing look green if you come in too far. This is how you can play with your stamps and make them just a little different after you've colored them a bajillion times. I did this with the snails. Remember the snail stamps that we had? We could make so many different colors with the snails that I just played with all different colors on their snail shells. So I never did this. But this kind of gives the reggae feel that we were asking. You didn't know that I was going to be on tonight? Yeah, I, I really wanted to color. I haven't gotten to color much at all being gone. So I got everything unpacked and unloaded already. And I was like, I think I will do a little coloring tonight. You know me, a little more hardcore. Hanging out with you guys even when I'm tired. Never rest. Keep going and going and going. That's right. Oh, good morning from the Netherlands. Hi. Good morning. It's nighttime here. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh-huh. Exactly. Okay. So we're going to hit it with this YG03. It's a YG, so it's a yellow and a green, which is going to kind of blend really well next to that yellow. Going to take that bright, bright green down a notch, bring it closer to the yellow, which I thought would mix really well together. So there we go. Now we have that part done. So we have a zigzag design that we hand drew in here with the W. And so if we're going to keep going that way, I'm going to go with the yellow again. And then I think I'm going to bring the end in with um, the red. But before I do that, let's go ahead and smooth out because I talked about smoothing this out right here. And this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to go with the YRO2 because I think that um, it's soft enough between the two that it'll blend that together and make that look like more of a solid line because it's yellow and red because it's YR so I think that that will help smooth out any of that excess lines and stuff that we had that looked a little funny. It looked like we messed up but we didn't because we're awesome like that. <laughs> okay so let's use the yellow again Y15 and we have a little design up here like this and like this, and like this. This is what we did with, with the W marker so we'd know where we wanted those lines to be. Y13. Just a little bit of 13 because we're really going to bring in that um, brighter with Y11. Oops, you can't see it. There you go, Y11. We're going to kind of color that part in. And then I think we need to come back in with the red. So R46, this is starting with these colors again. This tip will be orange, and that way we'll just kind of flow back and forth using the same colors. So here's going to be the red, so a little bit on the tip of that one, and a little bit over here. Here. And I'm going to make that little tip right there red. 
<laughs> and then R17. Kind of fill those in a little bit more. And then 14. like it. Now the oranges again, YR18, we're just going to do this area right here. And YR16. It looks like he's about to party. And YR02. He's a, he's a party crab, man. Are you ready to see him up close? Look. He's a party. He's got a party going on on his shell. It's a party crab. I'm going to soften up, I think, this red up here with the yellow along the edges just to kind of soften that. Because I feel like that's a little harsh right there. That's the only part. that I felt like needed a little bit of softening. So there we go. I'm gonna zoom him in just a little bit so you can see him a little better. He's got a little glare on his shell from the light, but if I hold him up, you'll be able to see him without the glare. Now Janie gets to color a background for this. You think she's gonna be like, what were you doing with your crazy, your little crazy Rasta hat and your little swamp person. These are going to be HEC cards that um, we Jamie and I are going to color for the swap. So she's going to do the backgrounds and I'm going to do the critters. So maybe we'll do some more critters tomorrow night. But you can do anything you want with the show. We could have done spots or we could have done a ombre or we could have done anything. So at least you'll know that you can just play around with them and see what you what you like, what you want. And we used a whole bunch of markers. So yes, this was our little baby. So if you came in late and you missed it, this is our cute little guy, our little swamp baby that we're using for an ATC. And it does kind of look like rainbow. Look at that. So cute, right? And then Jamie's going to color the background, so if you guys get these, you get them made by both of us. Part me, part her, part me, part her. Super fun. Although I got a little mark right there that she's going to have to work around. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I got for you tonight. Maybe tomorrow we'll do some more critters and get some more stuff done. But for now, I think I'm going to go to bed. Oh, you finished your ATCs? Yay! Well, you can bring them when you come on Sunday. Yay! Oh, thank you. The Swamp Baby's in the store right now. These are these are two brand new ones from the release. So this was the release. This is Hooray. This is our little... I colored this one for the packaging in like regular ones. And then here's our little party guy. But this is the full set. And they have dyes to match. So I'll probably put all of them on the ATCs. And then this is our swamp set. And we just did the baby. But thanks so much for joining me. I hope you liked it. I will save it out on YouTube probably tomorrow. After I get my hair done, i got to make my hair purple again. I, I need my signature purple back. So I will talk to you guys and see you guys for the live tomorrow night. I know, I can't wait to see you too, Mama. Oh, you're welcome. Awesome. Okay, we'll come back tomorrow night and we'll do some more. Thank you. Bye, guys.